Hi, <laughs> I'm Lindsay Murray and we're in Columbus. I was in cheerleading, dance, gymnastics, um, and then once I got to college, I started running. So I was really into running. Would occasionally go to the gym, but pretty much stuck to just cardio. Like that's all I felt comfortable doing. Running and healthy is like kind of relative because I didn't have a lot of muscle mass on my body at all. And that used to not concern me, but I'm 32 now, but I work as a research analyst. So I work at a desk job and I was starting to notice like some of the changes that come along with that. I think I was like taking my garbage out one day and I was like, this feels heavier than it should. And that's not a good feeling when you're 30 years old. I'd also heard that it was like healthy for you. It was good for you to have muscle mass on your body, but I didn't really know how to achieve that by myself. When you walk into just like a public gym, you don't know most of the people who are there. With that comes some of that intimidation. So I would walk in and see the guys lifting. I would see the girls over by the treadmills and the ellipticals. I would gravitate towards them because they're like me. I was interested in finding a strength training gym, but I was really afraid to start looking for one because I thought it was kind of a, uh, like a male centric type of thing. So I didn't really know where I would go and feel comfortable. But I had a couple of neighbors who had started working out here and really loved it. And they probably talked to me for probably seven or eight months about the gym until I finally came in myself and checked it out, but liked it immediately. The coaches weren't what I was expecting. They were all just really friendly and welcoming and they weren't intimidating people at all. At the beginning, um, it's largely centered around teaching you the four main lifts, like your deadlift, your squat, your bench press, and your overhead press. So I had to be taught how to do all those movements. But even just getting your rack set up and being prepared to load your bar, I had to be taught that as well. So I like that. Um, the other part of the coaching is they, they watch you as you do your movements to make sure that you're doing them safely and correctly the way that you're supposed to be doing them so you can continue progressing, adding weight to your bar. And then that's the other part that I like is that this is a, it's a measurable type of process. You start at a certain weight and then every week the weights, they go up, they start to go up more slowly over time, but they continue to go up. They program your workouts for you, so it takes out all the guesswork. You don't have to think about what it is you're gonna come in and do. Um, they help you craft that program, and I, I really appreciate that. I was a little bit worried about putting on too much muscle mass, but coming here I realized that that takes like a ton of time and a ton of like um, dedication with your diet and what you're doing. It's really hard to get to that point. And honestly, like I've been, been happy putting on a little bit of weight and a little bit of muscle like I like how I look and I like how I feel so much that even if I felt conflicted about how I looked I feel so much better that that makes it worth it <laughs> I hate to even say where I started because I was I'm gonna call it under muscled that's what we'll call it I started off like I think like a lot of women um, skinny fat where I looked lean but really I just didn't have a lot of muscle mass on my body so when I started 65 pound deadlift I probably was maybe squatting the 22 pound bar that we have over here, same with overhead press, probably same with bench press, like super, super low. But today I just deadlift 180 pounds, today I'll rack pull 192. Overhead press, I think the heaviest has been 65 pounds. Then my heaviest bench press right now is maybe 82 or 83 pounds. I don't have the kind of back pain that I used to have sitting at my desk, like sitting there all day, I would start to get just, you know, fatigue in my lower back, my upper back. I don't notice that anymore. Like. It's gone, I don't see that. My dog cannot pull me around anymore, so her behavior is a lot better, just as a consequence of it not working anymore to pull me around, so that's been really great. And, you know, taking out the trash isn't hard anymore. Because this is in like, it's in a small like group class setting. You become friends with the people that you left with, so during our breaks, we just sit and talk. So I kinda, I like my breaks because then I get to talk to the people that I like. I know the coaches really well, they know a lot about our lives because they see us so many hours per week. You know, Jarrett knows how much sleep I've had, roughly what I'm eating, um, and if any of those things have changed, my programming that day could change depending on what's going on in my life. So just a totally different environment. It's night and day. So I think what I would say to other women who are kind of similar to me, come in and try it if you can and if you're interested. This has made the biggest difference to my um, overall health and energy levels and how I feel about myself. I didn't get that from running. I didn't get that from 
going to the gym by myself. This changes like your physique. It changes conscientiousness about your sleep, about your diet. Like it de kind of demands that of you because you come in and you do something really hard and you need to be prepared to do that. This gives you a boost of confidence that running just didn't really give me or like working out by myself didn't really give me because you come in here and you do things that you never thought that you could do. You just have to keep showing up and like do what they say and yeah, you can do things that you never thought you could do.